Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about how proteins are created using transcription and translation. How does the cell convert DNA into a protein? Chromosomes contain genes. The genes contain the genetic code for proteins. Let's look at how it works. Creating a protein begins when the DNA unzips and RNA polymerase attaches to the DNA and starts creating a strand of mRNA or messenger RNA. The messenger RNA is similar to DNA but does not have the nucleotide thymine. Instead it has uracil. The uracil attaches to the adenine. Here is how the messenger RNA would attach to the following strand of DNA. Notice that for the A instead of a T underneath you have a U. This process of creating mRNA is called transcription. Transcription occurs in the nucleus. The next step is translation. Once created the messenger RNA travels out of the nucleus and into the cytoplasm and then to a ribosome. At the ribosome, the mRNA is read in triplets called codons by transfer RNA. Each codon is a code for a particular amino acid. Here's a chart of each codon and the amino acid that pairs up with it. AUG is the start triplet and UGA, UAA, or UAG is the stop signal. Transfer RNA found in the cytoplasm moves to the ribosome and pairs up to the correct codon. A tRNA has an amino acid on one end and an anticodon on the other. tRNA will continue to string amino acids together until it reaches a stop code. The amino acids form a long chain of amino acids held together by a peptide bond. After reaching the stop codon, the long chain of amino acids will twist and fold and create a protein. Proteins are then used by the body for structural support to create enzymes, send messages in the form of hormones, and many other jobs throughout the body. So there we go, how proteins are created in transcription and translation. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.